Okay, one last step before you are such an expert that you're ready to start creating iOS apps. Let's now start talking about classes and objects. A class is going to be an abstraction of certain part of your problem or certain thing that you're going to be needing to use. For example, a dog. So let's create a class dog. And this is how you define a class. That simple. You have the class keyword and the name of the class and then you have the body of the class. Inside of the class you can do whatever things we've already done like defining variables, constants, functions, use of course the, the loops and the, the evaluations such as if else, switch case, of course the for loops, the while loops, everything that we've learned so far can and in fact should be defined inside of classes. For example, this dog, I wanted to have a property that I'm going to represent as a variable. So I'm going to define a new variable or property for the dog, which is going to be age, and I'm going to make this of type integer. And right at the beginning, I'm going to assign it to zero, like this. Now, I also want a function for this dog because dogs can bark. So I'm going to add a function, and I'm going to call this bark, and it's going to receive a string um, like this, and it's not going to return anything. But what it is going to do is it's going to print whatever thing was received in the bark uh, variable in there. Now this is going to be helpful because let's say that we are in another part of our code and we want to create numbers of dogs. So to create new dogs, I will do just like I've done before to create doubles or integers or strings. I'll create dog1 and assign it to a new dog. This is how you create a new dog by writing the name of the dog class and doing uh, opening the parentheses and closing the parentheses. In here you are creating a new instance of that class and that is called an object. So an object is an instance of a class. So there I have one dog, I can have two dog dogs like this and even three dogs, uh, three dogs like that. And each and every one of those variables are a different dog. And of course, each and every one of these dogs has their own age and has their own bark method. Now, the bark method is always going to be the same. But let's change or let's add a new function and retrieve or get age. And what this is going to do is print the age of the dog, like that. So let's say that dog one dot age. This is how you access properties with uh, the name of the variable dot, and you uh, even get a list of all the variables or properties rather, and all the methods. So age is going to be equal to 3 for the first dog. Dog 2, the age is going to have 5 years. And dog 3 is going to have 1 year. So, if I go ahead and ask the dog 1 for its age, you can see how 3 is printed. In fact, let's actually do something different and return an integer in here and so in here I would like to return age so in here I will have the tree right there and the same for the second dog 
get age and it returns 5 and doc 3 3 returns 1 and just like that you already know how to create a class how to create an object or an instance of the class how to assign values to the properties of those objects and finally how to call functions from those objects and as you can see each object is different because each object is returning a different value for the age property. Now of course the bark function can also be called uh, like uh, doc1.bark and in this case I will, I don't know, woof and woof is printed over here as you can see. So you are now enough of an expert for you to start building iOS applications and that is exactly what we're going to do in the next module.